beautiful. Check that out. That came out awesome. This thing should rock. We should get 250 out of it easy. Perfect. 250 right on. Maybe even 251, but it's going to drop fast. Oh yeah, totally perfect. Beautiful, check it out. I hope you can see that. I just set the camera down. That's perfect. Four bakers, a huge one, two medium, and a small. And it fits right in. Hey there, just a quick vid to show you a super awesome oven I put together with just three flower pots, two basic makeshift lids, a couple of bricks for a stand, and the 12 volt power card. Go to 500 Celsius, more than enough. That's over 900 Fahrenheit. We got a 10 inch outer pot, seven and a half middle, and a six inner with eight and a half on the outside edge. All right, to make it, step one, drop the rubber band on. Step two, take the elements and space them evenly around underneath the rubber band. Then we'll drop on two stainless steel zip ties and remove the rubber band. Okay, that's your completed inner chamber. Now I'll just feed the wires through the pot and out the bottom hole and I'll put it up on bricks like that. Now we'll just drop them through there, kind of bend it over, and drop it on the bolt. It drops together kind of like that. Then just tighten it up and you're good to go. All right, one more thing. Let's go ahead and tape these off so they don't touch under the dirt. All right.
Okay, here's the two hour check. Exactly two hours. Sweet, that's above 250. I don't know, 250 right on. About the three hour mark, still 250. That's awesome. I'm just letting this thing burn hour after hour, but we're still just holding steady at 250, so that's pretty much topping out there. It's awesome how the lid fits exactly perfect like it was made for it. And same with our coffee can lid, as a matter of fact. That worked out great. So the way I'm going to figure it, you got about an hour preheat, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. In an hour, we got the 225 Fahrenheit. I didn't check at 30 and 45 because I didn't want to keep letting the heat out, so... Um, it's hard to say what it was then, but probably 40-45 minutes, it was like 200. So minimum probably preheat on these, you'd want to go 30 minutes, if not an hour. Then drop in what you want to cook, cover it, and let it go. Now I just need some ideas on what exactly to cook in a 250 Fahrenheit oven. You could probably cook almost anything, just takes a little longer than the conventional oven. It's a sweet looking oven too. Pretty cool how the lid matched exactly. That's just a standard two-quart saucepan, glass-tempered lid from a stainless steel pan I have. The lid, again, is just from a coffee can. It's one of those large coffee can lids. I kept it, just a piece of scrap. Finally came in handy. Perfect. 250, right on. Maybe even 251, but it's going to drop fast. So 250 is pretty much it. 225 first hour and then 250 second hour and beyond. If you want to try to squeeze another 5 or 10 degrees out of this thing, you could insulate between the two lids, maybe with some crumpled up newspaper or some cardboard in there. And you could also use a slightly larger pot, might hold in a little more heat. So instead of the half inch band of insulation on the outer pots, you get maybe an inch or so. By the way, you might be thinking, can I just make this with the outer and inner pot and skip this one? I'd say don't do that for a couple reasons. The main one is because you want the cord to be able to come out between the second and third pots. Otherwise, it either has to come out where the lid is, so it's going to be at an angle and you lose a lot of heat, or it's got to come out the bottom of this one, where, you know, the, the biggest one, and then it'll just wobble and that could be a problem sometimes. So do it like that and it works out. Maybe someday, that might be a future vid.